Hi, this is Dave out in Western Pennsylvania, and uh, I've been, uh, I'm a chemistry professor. I've been working with uh, various electrolytes, ionic liquids actually, and uh, I've been working on a graphite-graphite battery. Now it's really zinc-graphite, and what I do, you see two rectangular sheets of graphite in the uh, electrolyte, which is... Uh, I start out with, of course, aqueous, and I'm using Epsom salt, magnesium sulfate to have to hydrate, with uh, zinc nitrate in solution. And what I did beforehand was to plate out zinc on the graphite electrode on the left there, the cathode, and uh, I plated zinc out from a plating bath with a piece of zinc, which we have over here. Freshly cleaned in phosphoric acid. And I use a power supply. And I have found very good results if I try to stay around 300 to 350 milliamps. Go easy on the voltage. And I think we've been running at about uh, 5 volts. And I take about an hour to plate the zinc out. The surface of the graphite will turn gray. And then I pair it with untreated graphite. You can get these graphite sheets very cheaply on eBay. Or you use graphite rods or even uh, burn pencils and get the graphite that way. Okay, so we have the uh, bath. Now, interestingly enough, I did a short circuit on this and it rebounded. And uh, right now, after shorting it, it rebounded to 1.16 volts. And it's very interesting. I can charge this up very quickly and uh, let me short it out again and we'll get about uh, started about 20 milliamps it'll drop down getting about seven six now because I uh, I just did a double short on this now let me bring it back up to open voltage and it will try to get back on its feet pretty quickly now, what I like about this pairing, the rectangular electrodes will serve as a sandwich for planar batteries, but I'm not going to be using aqueous uh, zinc magnesium sulfates. I'm going to be using an ionic liquid, and I prepare a number of these ionic liquids. This one's made from livolinic acid or renewable from cellulose, and uh, it's with choline chloride, a B vitamin. They're both very cheap and renewables. And I have found that zinc nitrate will dissolve in this ionic liquid. So therefore, I am hoping to use the two graphites, one with a surface area of zinc, a priori, and then use the ionic liquid with a membrane, uh, an insulator and we'll keep you posted on it. Meanwhile the voltage for this has gotten back up to uh, 0 0.70. Where does it come in? Well you'll come in at about 1.2, 1.3 volts somewhere in there when it reaches equilibrium. So it's definitely worth studying particularly with the zinc going in there. So I don't need to use caustic, I don't need to use ammonium chloride, zinc chloride. I can put the zinc right in the electrolyte for deposition when I go to recharge. I'll keep you posted. Thanks for watching. Bye.